In 2004, Maria Sharapova shocked everyone when the 17-year-old upset top seed Serena Williams to win Wimbledon. In doing so, she became the third youngest woman to win the prestigious title. But there was a seven-year-old girl also watching with her parents in New York who dreamt of becoming like Sharapova one day. Welcome to The Rich Rabbit, and today we'll be talking about the life journey of Paola Badosa. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Bedosa was born in Manhattan, New York, to Miria Gibert and Joseph Bedosa. Both of her parents worked in fashion. When she was seven, they moved to Barcelona. She then started playing tennis at Club Tennis de Oro. At the age of 14, she moved to Valencia in order to progress in tennis. At the age of 17, she returned to Barcelona. She has been studying high school for about four years at a distance. Her favorite tournament is the US Open. Her idol growing up was none other than Maria Sharapova. Bedosa has also said she's a huge admirer of Simona Halep. When she was a child, she aspired to be a model following her parents' path. Bedosa is a former junior world number eight. She made her debut at the ITF Junior Circuit in September 2012 at the age of 14. In February 2014, she won her first junior singles title at the Grade 1 Mediterranean Avenir in Casablanca. In April 2014, she won the doubles title at a Grade 1 tournament, the Trofeo Juan Carlos Ferrero in Villena. In May 2014, she reached the semifinals of the Grade A Trofeo Bonfiglio in doubles. In the juniors division of the 2014 French Open, she reached the quarterfinals in both singles and doubles. She then reached the quarterfinals in the juniors division at Wimbledon in singles. She finished runner-up at the European Junior Championships in singles, losing to compatriot Sara Soribes Tormo and finished runner-up in doubles. She completed her junior career at the 2015 French Open where she won the gold singles title. In juniors, she won three singles and won doubles title on the circuit. Pedosa made her debut on the ITF women's circuit in May 2012. In November 2013, she won her first title in San Jordi. In March 2015, she made her first breakthrough after receiving a wild card for the main draw at the premier mandatory Miami Open where she recorded her first two match wins on the WTA Tour. In the third round, she lost to 14 seed Karolina Pliskova. Later, she reached the main draw of the Madrid Open through qualifying, but retired in her first round match. At the 2018 Morocco Open, she reached the quarterfinals and lost to Alexander Krunic. At the 2019 Australian Open, she made her Grand Slam main draw debut after passing qualifying. However, she lost to wildcard Kimberly Burrell in the first round. In July, she reached her first WTA semi-final at the Palermo Open, but lost to world number 5 Kiki Burtons. She followed this by reaching the semi-finals of the WTA Challenger Karlsruhe Open. After that, she debuted in the top 100. In the early 2020 season, Pedosa reached her first Grand Slam match win at the Australian Open, defeating qualifier Johanna Larsson in the first round. She then lost to world number 7 Petra Kvitva. Her biggest result of the year was at the French Open, where she reached her first round of 16 at a major tournament. There, she defeated two former Grand Slam champions, Sloane Stephens and Yelena Ostapenko. In May 2021, Bedosa reached her first WTA 1000 semi-final at the Madrid Open. In doing so, she became the first Spanish woman to reach the semi-finals in the tournament history, defeating number 8 seed Belinda Bencic. She faced top seed and world number 1 Ashley Barty in the semi-final where Barty came out on top. As a result, Bedosa reached a new career high of world number 42. Initially unseeded at the French Open, she was promoted to seed number 33 after the withdrawal of Alison Risk. Padosa beat Lauren Davis and Danka Kovinic in straight sets before facing Anna Bogdan. 
She went on to take the match in three sets to move into the fourth round of the French Open for the second year in a row. She then faced Marketa Vondrushova, whom she defeated in three sets to move into the quarterfinals of a major for the first time in her career. Here, despite being up a break in the final set, she fell to Tamara Zidanecek. Badosa represented Spain in the 2020 Summer Olympics, women's singles and women's doubles events. Badosa and her partner Sara Saribes Tormo beat Mexican pairing Juliana Olmos and Renata Zarazua in the first round. But they lost in the second round to Czech pairing and eventual gold medalist Barbara Krejcikova and Katerina Siniakova. In singles, Badosa won her first three matches against Kristina Mladinovic, Iga Shvontek and Nadia Podoroska. In a quarterfinals match against Wondrushova, Badosa lost her first set before retiring from her match due to heat stroke. This ultimately resulted in her having a long medical timeout and needing to leave the court via wheelchair. On August 12, 2021, Badosa parted ways with her coach Javier Marti, whom she had worked with for 11 months. This was announced a day after suffering a loss against Rebecca Marino in the round of 16 of the Canadian Open. In October that year, Badosa defeated former two-time champion Victoria Azarenka in three hours to win the Indian Wells tournament. This was her first WTA 1000 title. Following this successful run, she made her top 10 debut on November 8, 2021. She qualified for the 2021 WTA Finals and was the first in her round-robin group to reach the semifinals. After beginning her 2022 season with a first-round loss to Victoria Azarenka at the Adelaide International, Badosa claimed her third career title in Sydney by defeating Barbara Krejcikova in the final. With this win, she rose to a new career-high ranking of number 6. At the Australian Open, Badosa reached the fourth round for the first time, where she lost to unseeded Madison Keys in straight sets. Badosa is an aggressive baseliner whose game is centered around her powerful serve and ground strokes. Badosa has described her serve as her favorite shot. Her first serve has been recorded as high as 122 miles per hour, allowing her to serve multiple aces in any given match. Badosa's favorite surface is clay, having grown up on the surface. She has won 85% of her matches on clay courts throughout 2021. Due to her aggressive playing style, clay court prowess and mental toughness, she has been frequently compared to her idol Maria Sharapova. Badosa is endorsed by Nike for clothing, shoes and apparel, and by Wilson for rackets, specifically using the Wilson Blade 98. Since 2021, Badosa has been in a relationship with Cuban model and actor Juan Berencourt. Badosa is multilingual, speaking four languages fluently, Spanish, Catalan, English and French. And with that, it's time for us to call it a day, where we show hope that you liked the video and found it informative. And if you did, then, well, you know the rest. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.